Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, the battle over truth is raging on more today than ever before. It's not a battle that is coming, but a battle that is already here and a battle that I have been fighting here on my channel for quite some time. Everyone from Facebook to Twitter to the corrupt sides of the government to the deep state and everywhere in between the New World Order, globalist organizations like the United Nations, Davos, the World Economic Forum are all standing against us in order to to knock out anybody who views nationalism, anybody who loves their country, anybody who is a populist and believes that there are people pulling the strings from behind the scenes, they don't want you to know that. But that is exactly what is happening. And who's their target? Anyone that is anti-New World Order. What I have to show you today is bombshell. And it actually comes from the World Economic Forum website uh, where they held a summit in India. It's called the India Economic Summit. And it was held just this past October 2017. And at this summit, they held one particular event there in which they specifically address fake or what they now title false news. And I'll get into that in a moment. But they, they ha held this whole one hour event in which they wanted to discuss how to get rid of anybody who opposes their view. Specifically, if you're a Trump supporter and specifically if you're a nationalist or a populist, then you are the reason for the fake news. So if you're not globalist, New World Order, and part of the mainstream media, then you are fake news and should be labeled as such according to this particular video, uh, video some of the video clips that I'm going to show you, but according to this Indian summit uh, there at the World Economic Forum. Now, here's before I get into that, what I want you to do is actually click on that link for the World Economic Forum because what I am gaining a lot of hope from is that the video itself had more dislikes than likes, meaning that people are waking up to the atrocities and their lies on a daily basis. And why is that? Because channels like mine are rising and instead of just telling you something, we prove it to you using documents, using information. And so the mainstream media is losing the battle because they're not showing you the information. They're just saying, believe me because I'm legit. <laughs> yeah, more and more your true sh colors are showing mainstream media and that's why people are turning to alternative media outlets such as mine. So lots of battle here and I don't foresee it stopping anywhere in the near future. All right, so the first clip that I wanna show you here is the entire basis for where this video starts and where this debate starts and where they ultimately wanna go. But in the beginning, they open up with the fact that Donald Trump uh, is basically bad because he labeled mainstream media outlets such as CNN, MSNBC, and ABC as fake. So because Donald Trump labeled them as fake news, right, they're not going to use the term fake, but they're now going to call it false news instead. Take a listen. Which is related to our subject today, which is false news. We are not going to call it fake news because Donald Trump has used that phrase, as you know, the two words, to legitimate news organizations or to anybody who has expressed views or written about him uh, in a way that he doesn't like or he doesn't agree with. So we won't be using the word fake news. We will be using false news. We have to deal with pollution of all kinds. So he's polluted the word fake news. <laughs> I want to, you, you know, I just, I don't know what I want to do, but here's the thing. They start the entire precedence of this event off with, a biased opinion, right? They're supposed to be labeling what fake news is, but from the very get-go, they're saying we have a bias against Donald Trump, right? And so Donald Trump, whoever Donald Trump is labeling as fake news is the real news, but anybody he labels as real news is the fake news, right? So right off the get-go, we can see the bias from the beginning of the video. Ergo, the reason they probably got a lot of dislikes, but that is a red flag from the get-go when their entire thing is held on the line of Donald Trump and how they don't appreciate Donald Trump and that his views are uh, polluting society, if you will, and polluting the ears of people. That tells me their entire agenda is to push the New World Order agenda and the mainstream media corruption and lies. That's it from the get-go. Now, the second clip I want to show you is even more interesting. It's at about the 21 minute marker to about the 22 ish minute marker. But the lady goes on and I'm going to brief it, but I want you to hear it. But she starts with, uh, any Donald Trump 
She goes, Donald Trump has basically labeled mainstream media as fake news and thereby discrediting mainstream media. And because now that mainstream media has been discredited because of Donald Trump, and now they're banned, uh, basically. And as a result, Donald Trump has now become a dictator because he's not giving in to the corruption found in the mainstream media. Take a listen. And really, um, fake news in the Trump sense is a new way of banning media by dictators, right? You discredit media is the same as banning media. Media then is under doubt, no one believes anything, and it no longer serves as an institution to um, help democracy and the democratic process. It can't bring power to account because it's now discredited. Uh, another one that I just want to like pull her hair, you know? Here's the thing, they're freaking hypocrites. They're hypocrites. They're mad that Donald Trump is calling them out for false media because that's what they really are. All the while, they're labeling alternative media outlets such as channels like mine as false news, saying, if we're not part of the mainstream conglomerate, conglomerate, which is owned by six mega media corporations, like if you're not part of that, then you're fake. Yeah. So when apparently they can dish it out, but they can't take it when it comes back in their direction. Look, let the people decide if they think your stories are legit and you want to start proving it and grow some balls and actually do something mainstream media, then do it. Then we wouldn't have to rise up and fill in that gap for you. And like I said from the get go, the reason many people are turning to alternative media channels like this one is because we show the documents, we link them below, we prove the evidence, and people are seeing that over and over again and eyes are starting to be open. And that's what I love. I love the American people and I love that they can see through a lot of the lies on the corrupt mainstream media. Now, one final thing that I wanna tell you guys about is at the very end of that video, and I'm not gonna show the clip because it's a little long, but it's, it's interesting to watch, I think in the last 10 minutes or so of the video, uh, but if you get on there, they open the forum, the floor for questions, right? And one brave man stands up and he says, hey, you know, when you're talking about the hypocrisy of, you know, alternative media, um, what about the dishonesty that's in your own organization, right? What about the fact that you're owned by these corporate big held honchos that tell you guys what to do and say? What about that? And I am just smiling ear to ear because that's the truth. And they completely avoid the question and then address it a little later with a bunch of, well, there's good and bad in everything you do. That was basically their answer. Uh, but they had to beat around the bush because they know they are allowed to say things and they know there are things they're not allowed to talk about. Why? Because you're owned by people and alternative media is not and and those now now let me just say this not everybody in mainstream media is bad no 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 there's good people and bad people in everything like they said however the people who are in mainstream media are limited to what they can and cannot say that is a fact and that is truth anyhow uh, i wanted to bring you guys the latest on all of that i'd love to hear your opinions and yeah i'm a little upset by this they keep attacking us but we've got to stand firm we've got to stand strong and when world economic forum holds events like this they need to come to fruition they need to be brought out in the public eye uh, uh, so many people are well aware of the battle that is really taking place and we can stand firm in what we believe to stand against that. Anyhow, uh, please don't forget to check out my partner at GetTheTea.com. He has the most amazing products. Um, and I kid you not, it will detox you. Uh, you need, if you feel cluttered in your stomach and that kind of thing, get on that detox tea. And right now he has buy two, get one free, amazing special. Uh, all the links are below. Well, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.